When you're making a landing page in Squarespace, most people want to remove the header and the footer to make this page unique, to really focus on like one main action that people can take. But the footer is where important stuff lives, like your privacy policy, a link to your terms and conditions, the kind of stuff that you still want to be visible even on a landing page. That is why I use this technique to hide the footer on the landing pages of my website. All right, check this out. I've got the Clove template here, and I set up an individual page in here for a community event. Let's say they want people to sign up for this open house. They don't want all the links in their main navigation and scrolling down here in their footer, they just want this stuff at the bottom. Terms and conditions, privacy policy, maybe their disclaimer. If you hop into the settings for this page and you click on navigation, we can turn off the header, but if we turn off the footer, we're going to get rid of that privacy policy, terms and conditions, those important links we want to save. So we're actually going to hop into the advanced section and add this code. What this code does is it tells a computer browser that it's a style code. And if the browser sees the footer section area and there's a page section in there, take the first one and don't display it. Select save and check it out. On our landing page, the header is gone because we turned off the navigation. And if we scroll down here, all we have is the disclaimer and the terms and conditions links at the very bottom. You can hide one footer section at a time using a code like this. I'm Becca from Inside the Square, and if you liked this video, let me know in the comments and follow for more.